welcome to my cottage. I'm here today just to go through a, a few housekeeping things really for the channel and also to do my 500 subscriber giveaway. So I'll be giving you details of that at the end and in the meantime I'm just going to go through what's been happening, what's going to be happening and just update you really. So first of all my autumn journal which you can see here um, trying to decide I think I want that as the front cover and some lace and then that one on the back cover but um, I haven't 100% decided yet but I'm just going to do a quick flip through for you because I've now covered all the pages and rather than it be an autumn journal I've decided I'd like it to be a, 30, a thankful 30 for November so every day you just write a little bit about what you're thankful for and there are usually some prompts and things like that available but I just think it'll be ideal for that whether or not I'll fill it I, I haven't counted how many pages I've got but I can always use it next year if need be so let's just do a flip through and um, see what we've got so far I have put a September calendar in there and I was going to put an October calendar in there but I'm actually going to get a November calendar and put it over that so that um, I can use it to tick off when I've you know cross off each day as I do it so this is more writing pages but I can always use some ephemera and what have you to decorate them up as I do each day Again, I've just, you know, left some spaces for writing, um, places I can put pictures if I need to, that sort of thing. So I've used washi tape and different pattern papers just to decorate. These are both highly patterned papers, but I would just stick something on there so that I can write on it. gorgeous hedgehog there and the mushrooms this one's got a pocket in it and a journaling tag so obviously I could write on that for whatever day it is I've got some Edith Holden papers here of October I've got some modern papers Some writing paper there more modern papers with vintage adverts and pages so <laughs> complete difference beautiful full scene the hedgehogs back again to say hello and the conkers Reminds me of my childhood playing conkers in the school playground. That was long before it, it was um, health and safety and nobody was allowed to play them. People used to get them in, hit in the eye all the time when I was little. Nobody said anything. Uh, there's another pocket there. That's bringing in some different colours as well, but I love the, col the navy and the mustard colours together more toadstools and beautiful leaf changing lovely bird the flowers are autumn colors more writing space here and more pattern paper Got some different pattern paper lovely dog I'm just dying to put a speech bubble out and make a comment or something from him. Some more patterned papers. There's some coffee dye paper. And although this isn't traditional autumn colours, it just 
says autumn to me I don't know why maybe it's the red in it but I just think it's so pretty and I don't see why it can't be an autumn color it's more autumn papers and some more Daphne's diary That's some more papers I just went through and put down whatever I fancy doing this one the um, little drawings were already on the page so I tried to sort of add things to them um, and I will use those as part of whatever I'm doing that day I think so it's using a mixture of washi tape and cut pieces just to give a different look really again different look but mushrooms in a basket and some flowers apples and rose hips and some vintage paper that's quite a strong color but um, you do see those sort of colors on certain trees so I think it it deserves its place here all the different um, pumpkins and gourds and what have you again plenty of room to write there's a pocket there that I need to put some things in there's some mushrooms and some just plain paper and at the back the sunflowers and that's the end of the book so I will be working on that in November and obviously I'll give you a catch-up right so now for some housekeeping I'm currently in quarantine for 14 days leading up to my operation on the left hand carpal tunnel um, on Monday the 19th uh, this Friday I'm going to get a Covid test which would be my first time getting a COVID test. I haven't got COVID, I'm 99.9% .9 sure because I've been on my own since a week ago Monday. So there's no way, as far as I'm concerned, I can catch it. They say you can't catch it off a of post and that's the only thing that you know could be possibility. So uh, as I say, I'm isolating, I've been looking at things that I'll be able to do one-handed because I can't use my hand at all for the first two weeks and then four weeks after that I can't do things like drive or lift anything heavy and I can start to move it by then which means you know I could hold down a page but I can't do any sort of I won't have the dexterity in my hands to be able oh, my left hand anyway to be able to do things so I've been binge watching videos about glue booking and I've, I, obviously I've heard of glue booking but I've never tried it so I thought I would get some magazines start cutting them up now so that I've got plenty of things that I can do because I figure I can glue one-handed and I can put a picture down one-handed and I can smooth it out one-handed so that's what I've been doing totally obsessed with magazine harvesting videos and glue books so I've prepared myself some glue books to use so first of all this one is a traveler's notebook and so I'm going to use this one and I want to use this one for fashion um, so yeah that's going to be a fashion glue book then in here I've got an art journal which has got a page that I started but I haven't done any more in so I figured that'll be quite good to put things in and then maybe use paints and markers and what have you as well and I've also got a black one which I don't think I'm going to use but I may do and I've got one with pattern backgrounds again could be useful and so I'm going to keep that with me I've got this little book 
which is from Stamping Up and it was gifted to me and it's got uh, perforated pages so you can tear them out but it's some of them say grateful for small things and I thought they'd be ideal to take out and glue into my gratitude um, thankful book so yeah and, and other, other pages are just it, this one says today I'm grateful for so but there's you know they're patterned and everything so I might find a use for that one then I've got my sketchbook which I think would be ideal because I can take pages out as it starts to get a bit fatter and it's a nice area to work on with smaller images then I have my big this is an A4 sketchbook and I think this will be ideal for doing bigger collage and glue booking in with the bigger pictures from like the magazines and everything. So that's that one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I've also got my little tiny traveler's notebook. And it's got three books in it. One I've started using for art journaling, that was last year. I'll move it up a little bit so you can see. And I literally haven't worked in it since last year. That's just a background, some more backgrounds, etc. But I've got two books that I haven't started. And I thought it would be so much fun to try and do little a little mini glue book and see what I can actually fit on a page so I can look for really tiny fussy cut items and that will be in there so anyway let's have a look what have we got left to do yeah so as far as videos are concerned I don't know yet whether hold on a minute postman sorry about that got some bits through the the post some happy mail so that's really good and it was my favorite postman as well my god that guy has got the most amazing legs and yes he is wearing shorts in autumn with a great big coat but wow anyway that's a different matter so as as far as videos coming up i'm really only going to be able to do coloring or glue booking I can't really do much else one-handed and I don't know how I'm going to feel next week. Last time I felt fine for a couple of days and then the pain started. <laughs> so I was on quite strong painkillers and sleeping a lot. So we'll just have to see. Um, I'm hoping at the end of the month to do an October haul so that that should be able to be done one-handed. So it's just going to be if and when, I'm afraid, for a few weeks until, you know, I feel comfortable making videos again. So that brings me on to the final part of today's video, and that is my giveaway. I've got two prizes to give away. You can choose one or the other. It's open worldwide to anybody. And I hope you'll like the choices I've made. So first of all, we've got this book, which is called Junk Style by Melanie Molesworth. And it's got super photography, beautiful pictures. Um, showing how people utilise junk for their homes and what have you. Um, if you're a glue booker, the images in here are amazing and well worth cutting out. If you're not, then it's a lovely book just to have and sit on the coffee table and look at every now and again. So that's one of the options and that's called junk style book and next and i should say last <laughs> is 
a set of 15 Neo Color, Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons. These are ideal for planners, uh, glue bookers, uh, uh, journal makers, art journalers. Absolutely brilliant and you all you do is just crayon them on and then wet them and it all disperses that they're, they're a miracle really and so this is just the smallest set of 15 and I've got a 30 set I think it is or is it a 40 set 30 set I think and I love them to bits they're absolutely brilliant so what you need to do now is to enter you need to be over 18 or get your parents permission because obviously I've got to send it through the post so I would need their permission if you're under 18 you need to be subscribed to my channel you need to subscribe to my Instagram if you use Instagram and I'd like you to leave a comment as to your favourite types of videos to watch. So basically you just need to like, subscribe, comment and go over to my Instagram. All the details will be listed below and then you can enter. I'm going to do the closing date of the 28th of October which is two weeks today so that I can um, get someone to post it for me because I, I won't be able to drive for six weeks and yeah so oh also in your comment you better say which you prefer the book or the neo colors just so that you know I know and you must be prepared to let me have your address obviously otherwise I can't post it I don't know why I even said that Okay, so that's the giveaway. And then finally, I got some beautiful happy mail here. And it's from the lovely Fiona. She sent this to me because I sent her a few bits and pieces. A lovely thank you card with a note. And she made me this beautiful artist trading card with a butterfly she's never done artist trading cards before so these were her first few that she made and she's written all the information on the back so yeah I just want to say a big big thank you to Fiona for that because it was lovely to get and look at the lovely envelope she made as well absolutely beautiful so I will be putting them in my journal at some point so yeah, that's it then really. I'd like to say thank you very much for sitting and listening to everything I've got to say. I hope you'll enter and tell your friends to come along and enter too. I'm well, I'm well over 500 subscribers now, but it's taken me a while to get everything organized as to what I wanted to do for the giveaway. So, Leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and good luck with the giveaway, and I'll see you very soon. Bye now.